I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Get out! Now get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. E. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton. A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A 
philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, says he was... And you don't believe him? Complete my... Albert's disappearance... I've heard you're the man to speak to about... Another newcomer with another... Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? I take it you... Those fish-faced freaks, but now... So they're just... <laughs> Not to mention... Please forgive the quest... That's because no ma... My father unite... Mr. Throgmorton. What makes you think you... Let's just say... Vera. Sorry, did you just... You had better get used to the Oakmont dial. Vera. Me... I... I need to know more. Tame. Did you not listen at all? 
Well, these fishermen supposedly brought him to the... Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake. You mentioned old... Yes. Face the house, then to... As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Hello? Hey. Ah. It's okay. Oh. I want to know what happened. I don't remember. Then he came back. Then what? And he woke up. Hmm. Tell me about you. Uh, name's Will. We moved here after the flood. Where are all the other- uh, that's Paul there, and I have no- Do you know how Paul died? I- Who is this? Outside of show some- Sorry. I'll leave you- Please. I don't know yet. I'm a f Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. like this before. Master for work. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Take this, ape face. <laughs> Run! 
Run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Yeah! Run! What's happening? Yeah! Run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> What's happening? Take this, ape face. Yeah, run! <gasps> What's happening? Take this, ape face. <sighs> yeah, run! This ape face. <laughs> Take this, ape yeah, run. <gasps> What's happening? Yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Take this, ape face. Yeah! Run! What's happening? Take this, ape face. Yeah, run!
Take this. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Five cards short of a full house. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Let's see what you find, newcomer. So, the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far.
Yeah! 